All right, what is up, guys? Onesie Gaming here. Uh, we got a patch update today for Heroes of the Storm. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna talk about uh, what what's going on in here. It's a pretty big one, actually. Uh, so let's go over these patches or this patch note. <sighs> uh blah 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 okay so dampen magic okay so they just changed the dampen magic reduce from two to one interesting oh okay so they 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 pulled they moved it they took a charge away from dampen magic and they increased the duration by half a second that's okay okay so felstad's mighty gust has been increased cooldown from 40 seconds to 60 seconds Hmm. I don't really know how I feel about that one. Um, I feel like it did need to be worked on. 20 seconds is a bit much. That's a 50% increase. Yeah, that that's... I don't know. I don't know. I, I would say like 50 seconds. I mean, they had to have done some PTR testing and stuff like that with this one. But I feel like 60 seconds... Gosh, man. It's really powerful. Mighty Gus is... Especially when you're in uh, organized play... It's very powerful. It does it does a lot of different things for your team. Uh, it sets up combos. You can push people off of objectives. Uh, it, it does it does a lot of cool stuff like that. Uh, it's not really seen much in like quick matches, especially at lower MMRs, um, high, at uh, low end uh, Hero League and stuff like that. Kind of like the Hero League where I'm at right now. Honestly, I just I have not put a lot of time into Hero League with preseason. I just can't get myself to do it. I can't get myself to devote a lot of time to something that keeps saying preseason. That's just me though. I mean, other people they whatever. Illidan. Betrayer's Thirst. Heal amount granted per basic attacks decreased from 40% to 30% of damage dealt. That's good. Okay, th yeah, that was, that's good. Uh, Thirsting Blade. Basic attack healing during sweeping strikes decreased from 60% to 50%. That's good too. Thank you. Uh, friend or Foe Talent for Dive has been updated. Range bonus decreased from 33% to 20%. Okay. And Reflexive Block. Block charges granted after casting Dive reduced from 3 to 2 Okay, so what I'm seeing here is an Illidan nerf. I've read four bullet points and all four of them are a nerf. Battered Assault for Sweeping Strike. Damage has been increased from 100% to 125. This is definitely an Illidan nerf. This is something I've been calling for for ever since the rework happened. I feel like he got completely... Let me get that. Sorry. The rework bugged me. It, it bugged me. Um, I feel like he was completely overbuffed. I feel like Tychus was not buffed enough. I liked the changes they brought to Tychus, don't get me wrong on that, but I feel like he was still kind of, he's good, uh, but Illidan was like put on a different level, he's put on god tier, if you will. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see, uh, to see this right here, this, this, this is good, this is good. The healing, this is like the big one for me, is this stuff, so. Now Kael'thas, those of you guys that don't know what's up with Kael'thas, um, if you logged on like early today, it said that you couldn't even use him in Hero League. Uh, so there was a bug going around. I'm not exactly sure how it worked exactly. What I do know is you did something where you activated Verdant Spheres or something like that, and you died by towers or by a keep or a fort. You would come back and your W, your Living Bomb, would not be on a cooldown or it wouldn't cost any mana. Little insane. Little crazy. So those of you guys that didn't know, that's what that was. So let's see, they increase his health from 1465 to 1520. I like that. I like that. Health regeneration also increased. Uh, a slight one. No, that's that's you know. You're you're gonna you're gonna barely notice this right here. Honestly, you're gonna barely notice. That's yeah. Flame strike range increased by 10%. Okay, and the damage was increased. Wow, a significant damage boost. 213 to 320, and they kept the 4% per level. Flame strike damage is no longer increased when empowered by verdant spheres okay so that that explains the uh the buff there okay a, a nice little buff here to living bomb as well not a huge damage buff but enough so we went from 228 to 252 explosion damage increased from 114 to 138 that's the, nice so these it's it's little it's it's little bits here they decrease the cooldown for gravity lapse by one second mana cost by five mana the mana restore from the talent decreased as well with the op that, that's how, yeah to me that's obvious gravity crush bonus damage taken by enemies hit increased from 25 percent to 30 percent interesting okay so yeah basically they're 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 saying that they like they want kt to be able to poke a little more he's been a little vulnerable to the uh to the diving heroes on like the fell stats the illidans the gray mains especially um felstad being able to get in there and you know 
Uh, a really good Felstad can, you know, E, is it his E, his barrel roll? Yeah, like right when you see the KT throw an E, I've seen Felstad just immediately E out. And it's It was kind of amazing. So hopefully, I don't know if they fixed it yet, if it's already been fixed. If it has, great. If it hasn't, hopefully this is what fixes it. For Sylvanas, the mind control, the people that used to, that you could slash dance and get out of it, that needs to be fixed, if it's not already. Li Ming, here we go. So for one of her talents, health for dominance, health restoration decreased from 25% to 20%. For Arcane Orb, damage reduced by 10% overall. Ouch. <laughs> A cooldown decreased from 10 to 8 seconds, though. Okay, so you take less damage, but you can do it more often now. That's, that's... And the mana cost reduced by 10. 50 to 40. That's okay. And if you go into uh, triumb Triumvirate... The cooldown was down to five seconds. That's not bad. It's actually not bad. It's actually actually not really a nerf. It, it depends if you're more of the if you're more of the guys that like the burst, the big burst, or the more sustained. Because she's kind of become becoming a little more sustained, I would say, with this. Cooldowns get reduced. Damage is being reduced though as well. So, okay, her teleport area of effect of oh, calamity area effect reduced by ten percent. Okay, that needed to happen. Um, an illusionist. Okay, interesting. So kind of a nerf on her teleport, uh, if you go into the teleport build. I don't think that build's been viable since she first was released. But I remember when she first was released, you like built into teleport. Ooh, disintegrate cooldown went from 20 to 30 seconds. That needed to happen. I mean, let's be honest. Um, that needed to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's go down here. Thrall. Sundering. Stun duration reduced from 1.5 to 1.25 seconds. I, I can't say that's going to be super noticeable. Talking about a quarter of a second here. Um, I think I think it's going to be, but a thrall is still going to be one of those heroes you can combo really well with. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Tychus, here we go. Here we go. Tychus, health increased. Health increased again. Was this health increased the first time? I, I believe it was. So his health got increased again, quite a bit. Health regeneration also increased again. This is something you probably are not going to notice very. Bad. It's not. You're not going to notice that. If you say you do, you're 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 full of shit. Okay, so the Master Assassin attack speed bonus per stack decreased from 2% to 1%. Maximum number of stacks increased from 10 to 15. So, again, they lowered the percentage per stack, but they increased your stacks. So, it's, it's yeah, okay. It, it evens itself out. Damage bonus increased from 1.5% to 2% of target's maximum health for his minigun. That's good. I feel like that needed a buff. I feel like a lot of people overlooked minigun because it was such a minor. That 0.5% actually is pretty relevant. Damage bonus increased from 3% to 4% of the target's maximum health for the bigger they are. That's good, too. Wow. That's good. His damage across the board is just going to get better. All the way across the board. And his survivability got a lot better with, with, with both of these. I like that. Specialist. Here we go. Abathur. Maximum minion stacks increased from 30 to 40. Okay, that's good. And his health. I mean, Abathur health. I mean, <laughs> he could take one more auto attack. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Brightwing. Emerald Wind. His, uh, or her ult. Passively increases Soothing Mist healing by 8%. Okay. Um, that's good. That's very good. It's nice that it's a passive. Like, I like that a lot. Lily Water Dragon. This is an ult that I'm not familiar with. I never use Water Dragon when I play Lily. I usually go, like, 100% support build. An, uh, that is a significant increase in damage, though. Just, just looking at those numbers right there, that is significant. 192 to 318. That's, that, that's a big jump, so... For those of you guys that go water dragon with your Lili, that's that's a thumbs up for you. And that ooh, and they split the mana in half. So wow. Got close to doubling the damage and split the mana in half. That's huge for you, Water Dragon Lili. Lili players, man. Alright, now Malfurion, Twilight Dream. Now passively increased Malfurion's mana duration by 1.5 mana per second. That's pretty good. I mean, if you take Twilight Dream, um, is that going to make people go into Twilight Dream more? Uh, I don't... It could. It could if you go with Malfurion as your second support. Um, I definitely can see that, but probably not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Tyrande Starfall. Okay, so three bullet points here. Let's see what we got. Damage per second increase from 69 to 91. That's that's a pretty significant jump. That's, that's a pretty significant jump, actually, for that ult. Cooldown reduced from 100 seconds to 80 seconds. Okay. And mana cost was reduced by 25. That's pretty good. I've, I actually do enjoy this ult, Starfall. I like this ult a lot. Uh, excuse me. Probably going to play around with this ult a little more now. Um, I always liked playing around with it on, on certain maps. Uh, maps where you need to like zone people out. I loved it. Um, Infernal Shrines. Uh, I loved it on Temples. Um, 
There's there's a few other ones, but I loved it on those. Um, Battlefield for Eternity. It's freaking awesome. When you guys are fighting the Immortal and you got the team coming in from one area, you could starfall right on that area and you hit all of them. It's it's pretty freaking sweet. All right, Divine Divine Storm from Uther. He has another ult. Stun duration increased from 1.5 to 1.75 seconds. That's actually not too bad. Again, it's a point. It's a it's a, it's a it's a quarter of a second. Um, we'll see how significant that that comes into play. I, I don't think it's going to take the place of of Uther's invulnerable. Ult. I I can't see it doing that. I really can't. I can't. Uh, that ult was just too freaking good. So we'll see. Let's jump down to the warriors. So ETC has stage dive. <laughs> That ult. <laughs> Damage increase from 201 to 330. Again, a big jump. 100, 129 damage. Uh, again, I don't see a lot of ETCs at the high end of play uh, giving up Mosh Pit. That ult is just too good. Now, I know um, with updates and stuff like that uh, and people being conscious to it, a lot of like disruption has arisen people are good at doing that now but you, you still can't take away um a really good mosh pit i mean if they don't land their disruption if you get everybody in there it's it's like a full team wipe pretty much so i i just i i like the increase because it gives the casual player a little more of a choice what they want to do and, and let's be honest a lot of casual players and low mmr players they take stage dive um so this hey it's good for those guys you know they're gonna have some more fun with that Johanna, Falling Sword, damage increased from 251 to 365, so another pretty big one, over 100 again. Again, this is another ult that I have never taken. Uh, Stage Dive, I never, I've never taken either. Uh, falling Sword, I've never taken. Divine Storm, I've never taken. These are ults that I've never even played with. Um, is it going to replace the shield? I, I really don't think so. If you get a, into a team fight where they're grouped and you hit, uh, you hit a good shield, it's one of those things where you can land that good shield, get in, hit your W, Bring them in, they get stunned again, blind them all. I, you're talking about some huge combo, you know, combo wombos there. I don't see it being taken, but again, for the casual player, I, I see it happen. I see Falling Sword. I've never used it, so. It's good. It's good for them. Muradin, the Haymaker. Damage dealt to secondary targets increased from 25% to 100%. Wow. Of, of the primary target damage. Wow, okay. So I don't ever see Mirrodins, even in the low end, uh, low MMR. When I, you know, when I'm playing with my buddies and whatnot, I don't even, I don't even see them take this ever. Maybe it's something people play around with. Again, I, I, I don't think so, but we'll see. So here's the bug fixes. This is where I am interested. Are we at the bottom? Oh, we are. Okay, so I fixed the issue, which allowed KT to rapidly cast the bomb for free under certain circumstances. Okay, so there it is. So that is gonna be fixed. Awesome. Super annoying when you see KT just like W, 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 living bombs everywhere. Friggin' annoying. Fix the issue that, issue that prevented Kerrigan from casting Ravage on Earthbind Totem and se and several other summoned units. Okay, I had no idea that existed. I imagine that kind of sucks. Um, uh, with Tooltip, with Sergeant Hammer, Siege will no longer reference a non existent talent. Okay. Okay. So, all in all, I think this is good. So, what I got from this balance update is we got an Illidan nerf, which I have been asking for, and it, it doesn't seem like it's it's an over nerf. I feel like Illidan's going to be right where he should be. Uh, oh, the big thing too, Asmodog, man, he's coming. Hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. And there he is. <laughs> All right. So... That's good. Tychus getting a little bit of more survivability. I like that. Uh, his damage also with for his minigun and his other abilities. Um, he didn't really lose any damage. He, he, they just kind of stabilized it. Um, KT getting a little buff I think was needed. Um, he's still getting picked healthy in Hero League and whatnot. But uh, he, I agree he did need a little more poke. Because Li Ming was just out poking him all day, every day. Um... What else was there? There was there, there were there any other significant? I mean, the like they they touched up a lot of the ults, which I'm okay with. Again, a lot of them, it's a lot of the secondary ults they worked on. Um, though the Li Ming nerf, uh, this is, I don't even know if this is really a nerf though. Um, 
I just feel like they, they, they made her into less burst and a little more uh, sustain. Let's see what they say here. Her amazing build diversity. We're making a few balance tweaks in order to lower her burst potential. Okay, there we go. While also increasing the appeal of some of her arcane or uh, talents. Okay, so it, that's exactly. They took away some of her burst, but now she has a little more sustain. I, I, I think this definitely needed to happen to you. This, disinter this disintegrate 20 to 30, that needed to happen. Uh, the, the Sunder, I mean, I, I don't... This is just so funny, this health one. <laughs> but I think that's it. Yeah. So that's that's it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a lot of this. Uh, looking forward to playing and uh, getting this going. Checking out. I, I can't wait to play some Starfall with Taronda. Like, I'm telling you, I love that ult. It's it's one of my favorite turn. You know, Taronda's both for ults are really good, honestly. Well, not really good, but they're both they're both playable. I mean, let's be honest. Um Starfall does have its applications, and now that the damage has been incre increased, those applications just got a little better. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, uh, you got some some uh, some enjoyment from it. Um, we'll go. We'll, we'll do these a little more often. I'm I'm making YouTube videos a lot more often now. I'm trying to upload um, a few videos a week uh, up from gameplay videos, reviews to this, whatever, whatever, whatever this is for. We'll, patch overview there we go patch overview um if you enjoyed it catch me on twitch name down below twitch.tv backslash right there um and hit that follow button and come check us out on the live stream on mondays i play heroes of the storm tuesdays we do world of warcraft mount runs wednesdays and thursdays are like up in the air usually counter-strike is one of those two days if not both and then Sometimes Heroes of the Storm also is in there. And then Fridays is a little something I like to call Freestyle Fridays, a.k.a. Follower Fridays, where you guys choose the game, I play it, and um, we play together. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, Saturdays, we have a level 70 Legacy Raiding Guild in World of Warcraft that we do our raids on. If that interests you, you know, stop by on Saturdays. Hopefully... Uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you guys later.